Good day, YouTube. One MJ here, and welcome back. All right, Tuesday afternoon here in Australia, almost uh, getting close to two o'clock now, and market is down again. So another five percent to two point one eight trillion. We've dipped under the two point two trillion dollar mark. So uh, the dip continues, and as I said, look, I think uh, we're going to see some more downside. How much more downside is really the hard part to kind of pick, uh, but I can unfortunately see more coming all right bitcoin dominance rising again people are you know getting away from the more riskier stuff and going back to the sort of safer stuff uh, a little bit of volume there so people are coming in and buying the dip but not a whole lot because people are still scared bitcoin price again 46,000 now it was 48,000 so it's dropped gas prices i mean it's the lowest we've sort of seen it <laughs> in a long long time so five dollars is very interesting all right, let's have a look at the market. What's done well? Has anything done well considering the market is down 5%? There'll usually be an outlier and there you go. Rose is up and outside of that, hardly anything is up. We're into pretty much stable coins. So one coin in the top 100 is up 5%. You'll take that. But again, <laughs> you got to be careful because the market's going down. All right, flip side then. What hasn't fared well considering what's going on? All right, there we go. Loopring down 14%. T-Fuel down 12%. Mobile coin down 12%. I mean, lots of double-digit gains. I mean, just across the board. Just have a look at it. Boom, things are getting hit hard. And, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? This is crypto. It's a super volatile market. I was saying a little while ago, if you haven't taken some profits, you know, at least consider taking some. Because, you know, when you don't take profits, this stuff really hurts. And if you haven't take profits and at least, you know, stack um, cash on the side, particularly if you're DCAing, like if you can't DCA and you only ever had, you know, like a hundred bucks to put in or a thousand bucks or 20 bucks, whatever it was, well, then you got to take some profits at times, unless you are literally just, you know, buying for the long term, then, you know, again, you've got to do what's right by you and I'll never offer you financial advice. I can just give you my opinion uh, and yeah. My opinion is DCA where you can, but also take profits at certain times, unless it is literally just a, you know, like if Bitcoin's your thing and you're just a long-term investor, well then yeah, what's the point in really taking profits unless you want to have a little bit of cash on the side at some times. So for me, I really want to have somewhere between 20, uh, sorry, 10 and 20% uh, cash on the sides at all times. Now my problem is I was too aggressive in sort of buying certain coins when I really shouldn't have been buying them. Uh, and I was too aggressive in the dips when they weren't really, you know, quite the dip you know, the lower points of the dips. So I have had to rebalance my portfolio. I'll let everyone know now. I sold some coins this morning. Sold some for quite a loss. Uniswap, like I've been down pretty much since day dot. Day, not day dot, day dot. <laughs> I bought not quite the top, but I, I did buy close to the top. And so I sold half my Uniswap tokens. It's not that I don't like Uniswap. It's not that I think Uniswap's dead. It's got a lot of issues with gaffs fees and all the rest of it. But it was just down too much. It wasn't worth me holding on to that. And I needed to fix my cash position. So I sold my uni swap at around about a 50% loss. Not quite 50%. I think it was 38%, 44%, something like that. But a substantial loss. But I've still got half of them. Now that will help me come tax time because it'll offset some of my gains. And what I can do is I can start buying them back at a cheaper price. Now I'm not rushing out to buy anything at the moment. Like I said, I think the market is gonna to continue to go down. I even had to sell some Bitcoin and I didn't want to do that, but it was simply because I didn't have enough cash sitting on the side. So sold some Bitcoin, a very small amount, sold some Ethereum, a very small amount. But basically now I have just under about 10% of my total portfolio in cash. And what I plan to do is just keep stacking a lot more cash. And not because I've lost faith in crypto, not because I think we're going into some big multi-year bear market, not saying we can't, but simply because I didn't have enough cash sitting on the sides. And when this kept dipping, I just didn't have enough. So I've even had to adjust my uh, strategy. And it's not so much that I had to adjust it, I just had to stick to it a whole lot better uh, than what I, had hoped I was. Again, I was too aggressive in buying coins that were already pumping. 
Uh, I wasn't taking enough profits at times and I was spending too much on smaller dips when I should have been having the bulk of my cash waiting for the really big dips. So again, so I've adjusted my strategy and now I'm not going to aggressively buy things until they're at 50% discount. I'm not saying I won't buy them before because they don't always get to 50% discounts, but that's when I'll start to aggressively buy things. And when things are a lot more bullish, then I really am going to ease off because the big money is made when you can buy the dips well. So number one, timing them better, which is a lot uh, harder than what most people think, but simply just having the cash there. And again, you know, I was buying dips of, you know, 10, 12% and 20% and that's nice. But the thing is the dips, that, that's not the good dips. The good dips is when you really get those kind of near 50% retracements. So 30, 40 plus percent retracements, you know, exactly like Bitcoin going from, you know, what was it, 64,000 down to 29,000. That's the kind of dips you want to get really aggressive on. And I did on that time. I sold reasonably well and bought reasonably well. But on this occasion, I haven't. And again, it's because I didn't have enough cash. So anyway, let's move on. Now, unfortunately, you know, we get to this charts. And again, I'm going to say I've got, you know, some bad news. But look, I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. And obviously I've had to you know, rebalance my portfolio because I've been wrong in some areas. Right more than I've been wrong, but I definitely have been wrong at times. So this is playing out quite similar to this. Now again, I didn't say that the chart had to follow this exact pattern, but look at this. We are barely holding. We've got an indecision candle here at the moment. Now this could turn. I'm not sure if we are going to break below this kind of 40, what would that be, 40 six and a half thousand dollar mark because it's been bought up pretty quick but now we have an indecision candle there's a lot of hesitation in all sorts of markets so i think it's definitely possible we can you know come down lower so as i said get your buy orders in you know get on whatever exchange you are and again set a buy order for maybe 44 and 44,300 set another one for 42,000 315 said another one for 40,000 sort of 700 said another one for you know 38,950 said another one for 37,000 you know 275 said another one for what would that be because this is around about where it's been traveling 30 th let's say 36,000 and then have one set for 34,500, one set for 32,500, and one set right in the middle, so about 33,300. Because there is a CME gap down here, and they just generally do close. No guarantees that it means it has to close, but if you have got buy orders in all the way down, maybe none of them get filled. But if it does somehow kind of wick down there or close down there or whatever, then you've been buying disc, uh, Bitcoin at a massive discount. And I know a lot of people say, well, why don't you just wait for it to start going back up? Because again, you can see things like this. Bang. So you get in uh, and wait for it to go back up. Yep. All right. I'm buying it now because it's going back up. And then, oh God, you get, you know, crushed. Whereas if you just have your buy order set in, if it does manage to get down there, you bought it at a great discount. And if it doesn't go there, well, that means it's going up. So the Bitcoin the Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency you do have is going up in value. That's a good thing. But if it's going down in value, then you want to make sure you've got your buy orders in. And again, I've already made uh, the mistake uh, and I already spoke about it before. I didn't have enough cash. I was too aggressive in buying small dips when we're in the pumps. The big money, and I, and I know this, but I, you get carried away. Look, even people who've been in the space for a while, you forget that you really want to have a good amount of cash, not too much, because cash is, you know, being devalued. So it's not you're like, you know, you want to have more than, again, for me, 10 to 20% cash, always on the sidelines, you know, earning that kind of yield and things like that. And then your buy orders set in. And sometimes you've got to just, you know, cut your losses on projects like Uniswap, it has not been a great investment for me. I didn't get the free coins. Uh, I bought in late and it's just been going down ever since. I haven't completely given up on it. What I have done is uh, sold though. And if it starts to you know turn around and things change, then I will start to buy back in. I got half my bag there for in case it you know turns around. Uh, 
and you know goes to the moon but unfortunately sometimes things just don't work out you're not going to have every single coin you get into do amazing unless you know you've only been in bitcoin for the last you know sort of 10 years then you've been doing absolutely amazing but that's what it is now unfortunately there is something else we need to look at so this is the daily chart so again this is what i think could happen i'm not sold on it yet but what worried me is we broke this on the daily so that's bearish right there this was the upwards trend we broke it now it doesn't mean it has to go down here before it can turn bullish it could turn bullish in the next few minutes but let's go have a look at the weekly the weekly has done pretty much the same it was in an upwards trending channel and i i was like you know one week where it kind of goes down isn't so bad then we got an indecision uh weekly and then we rolled over again so on the weekly this is not looking great so again i am sort of thinking somewhere down around about and again when we sort of scale out where do you think would be a good place for this to come back and retest somewhere around about here so forty thousand thereabouts because that's where the weekly confluence is we can see we got it as support and resistance there resistance there resistance there resistance there so this would be a, a you know place where it could come back but then as i said it's that 33 and a half thousand dollar cme gap that we got down here so really i'm thinking bitcoin is going to come down and consolidate somewhere between forty thousand and sort of thirty three and a half thousand like i said close that cme gap not all the way down but halfway through it but there is some kind of upside at the moment so now we go to the monthly this is bitcoin over the month at the moment it is just hanging on to that kind of that range at the moment so again it's wicked down but it pushed back up and it's basically sitting perfectly on this resistance line so this absolutely can turn around and all of a sudden sorry yeah the monthly and the next month could become uh, this month actually you know it might turn around and become bullish you know a, a pump in the last you know second half of december to get it back up to here and maybe even above but at the moment it is looking shaky hence why i had to rebalance my portfolio make sure i've got minimum of 10 percent uh in cash stable coins and things like that i now have that and I plan to increase that, particularly if we continue to go down. If we continue to go up from here, then I don't have to do too much. I've got 10% uh, in stable coins there all the time. But if we continue to go down, well, then I don't want to be throwing too much into cryptocurrencies. I'm not saying I won't throw any in, but I'll be less aggressive uh, in the buying until we get down to areas of 50 plus percent like i said bitcoin basically got to seventy thousand. if i see uh bitcoin down at 30 you know five ish thousand dollars i am going to be aggressive in my bitcoin buying really bitcoin is the only thing i'm going to focus on too much you know like matic i really like i've got a good position in it i did sell some matic today again to take some profits but i still got a awesome bag and the staking rewards and all of that do really well for me uh, i sold some ada today but again it's already done really well for me i didn't sell at the top it is what it is i still made more than my, the money i put in back and i've still got uh, a good bag of ada going as well i wish i had my uh, ada bag that was as big as my matic bag but anyway it is what it is but for me i just need to see what's happening here because this could turn bearish now i'm not again i'm not 100 percent sold that that means we go into a bear market but i just get the feeling like we're going to continue to go down from here so i wanted to make sure that i had locked some sort of profits in i don't quite have all the money i've put into the market back but i have you know enough that if it gets really bearish then i'm going to have cash on the side to you know buy the the dips if they get worse again particularly that 50 percent plus uh, on bitcoin and then altcoins again i'm not going to go too crazy on any altcoins until i really see what bitcoin has done because it leads the way if bitcoin continues to go down excuse me altcoins are going to get murdered i mean they already are at times you know what i mean like some coins are already down sort of you know nearly 30 40 percent from their old all-time highs like you know uniswap was a perfect example unfortunately i just bought and i didn't buy at the top i was down from the top but i still lost about 50 percent of what i uh, put into uniswap again i didn't throw the kitchen sink at it the only things that i really put a lot of money into was bitcoin and ethereum and they've done extremely well for me uh you know 
you can always look back in hindsight and say, gee, I wish I had to put more money into uh, Cardano and sold at better times and more money into Matic. Uh, you know, could have made myself an absolute squillionaire, unfortunately. Uh, you know, Matic was, you know, still very new. Uh, and again, I nearly sold it a few times. So anyway, that's me. I have rebalanced my portfolio. I'm not bearish at the moment, but I am keeping an eye on this. We're bearish on the daily. We are bearish on the weekly, but we're still holding the line on the monthly. And again, even if this does break, it doesn't mean we have to come all the way back down to here. So basically, a th what would that make it on the monthly? Uh, a $28,000 Bitcoin, but it may just kind of be that we kind of slowly travel down over the next few months. So again, to May or something like that and get down to a $37,000 Bitcoin. I don't know where we're going yet, but until these charts change and tell me something, I needed to make sure I'd got, you know, a good portion uh, in cash for if we do go lower. And just so, again, if there really is a big crash, and I'm not saying that's what's coming, then I, then I haven't, you know, basically sort of, you know, lost massive amounts of sort of money. I have locked in some profits. Again, I'm not bearish at the moment, but I have to have a look at what the charts are doing. But the charts can turn around all the time and completely... Yeah, throw you for a six. I always say TA is good until it's not. But what I do want to do is make sure that I have a minimum of 10% cash at all times. And I have that now. And I want to increase it to about 20%. So for me, uh, I will be putting a lot more into cash going forwards because I already have a good position in crypto. And if it continues to go down, then I'm going to have plenty of cash for once I see. Because look, it's not impossible that Bitcoin maybe doesn't, again, like I said, travel down sideways and by April next year, get down to $36,000. That's a 50% retracement from where it's came. I'd love to buy Bitcoin at that price. Like I said, it's those 50 plus percent discounts in total valuation, not 50% on sort of the daily and things like that. Total valuation, that is where I really want to get aggressive in buying things. But it depends on how far it's gone up. And like I said, like I've shown you before. I like to draw these lines. This is the average price of Bitcoin on the monthly, going back to uh, 1st of July, 2013. And again, you can just see, if you follow this line, that is the best time to buy. Doesn't say, well, yeah. On average, it's the best time to buy because we can see it's drop below here, drop below here. And so that's really what I'm looking for is I wanna be buying Bitcoin when it gets around here. And it can take a really long time. But what you need to remember is there's no uh, guarantee that Bitcoin ever goes lower than 45,000 again. Maybe it pumps up. And then if you're waiting to buy on the line, you're going to have to buy into Bitcoin at 76,000. So it's not an exact science, but you are my viewers. I want you to know exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I have rebalanced my portfolio. I wanted to have more cash on the side. I'm not a cash fan. Again, I don't want to confuse people. It's not that I always wanted to get into crypto to get out and get more cash. No, I want to get more crypto, but I can't buy the dips if I'm not properly balancing my portfolio. And I was severely undervalued in my cash element. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment, but if you are, congratulations to you because you've outplayed the market. And I'll see you next time.